everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel. And, uh, sorry. Hello, everyone. It's Anne here from Anne Makes. Hi, and welcome to my channel, and welcome inside my studio. Today, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. That's right. I have no shame. I went to the Dollar Tree and I shopped and I got a lot of stuff. And if you'd like to see some uh, brand new stickers that apparently had just been put on the pegs at the store I was at, stay tuned. And uh, just a little FYI, um, sometimes I don't tell you which aisle I find stuff in and I probably because I either don't remember myself which aisle I got it in or I just like don't remember to mention it period and I will try sometimes to you know say oh this is where I picked this up but uh, sometimes I just think it's really obvious that if I got something that should be in the kitchen aisle I got in the kitchen aisle um, and I just know that from store to store their layouts will differ uh, I know they they have like they were supposed to follow like some sort of floor plan or display plan and um, you know they they have to modify that according to the space that they have sometimes and the products that they have so just because I find an item in a certain area of the store I was at does not mean it will be in that same area at your store so um, please uh, <laughs> Don't give me a hard time if you can't find what uh, I was able to find and I can't guarantee you that it'll be in your store. Trust me, there's a lot of people out there who do hauls and I see some stuff go by and I can go to my store, I can go to other stores and I still will never find that product. It just doesn't come to the area that I'm in or it came there was only one and i missed it so that is you know that is the game uh that is how it works with the dollar stores you know it's often it's by chance when we find those uh those great items so without further ado i would like to share with you the new stickers do you want to see the new stickers i don't hear you <laughs> okay so first and foremost I was very happy to find these stickers that are, I would call them dad themed or more Mr. themed, you know, they're more for male oriented type of card craft making. And it makes sense because, you know, Father's Day is coming in June and that's, it's gonna be here before we know it. And so what I saw at Dollar Tree today, apparently these are brand new, are these wonderful stickers. This one um, has a count of nine of these little, they're three dimensional dress shirt, like, well not dress shirts, but men's shirts with ties. <laughs> are they cute? So these, these are great for uh, making like uh, cards for, for men and you know, just for if you're doing scrapbook page for for a guy or something it just you know this is this is perfect and oh this one is perfect for me because my husband is an avid golfer so this one is about uh it's all about golfing and here it says best golfer ever they all want to hear that and it's just it's got all you know the the green from the golf course the tee golf bag the cart the cup uh, clubs and oh the visor sometimes the visor if they wear a visor oh, so I just and there's lots of uh, sparkles on them so that's really cute that it's perfect for uh, my hubby and I also like this one with the tools isn't that cute all these little tools and there's like 18 pieces in here so you can, it's really good for a dollar twenty-five I mean, I, I don't buy the stickers at, I don't buy the stickers full price at Michael's, that's for sure. But you know, think, you know how much this would be there. So yeah, this is really good. And the other one that I thought, well, it's not just manly, but a little different. Look at this. This one is like a pub style one. 
So it has cheers, a dart board, darts, uh, a bottle of bubbly, and uh, there was like wine bottle. I, and that looks like uh, a glass of beer, a barrel. It's really, really, really fun. I mean, this is great for uh, if you're going to have a party and you want to make some cute invitations or you're, again, with the scrapbooking theme, you know, you, you had a party, you went, you met your friends at the bar or something, you know, this is perfect. So those are the new uh, ones that are, I find are more for guys. And I was really excited to see those because it's really, I find it really hard to find like more manly themed things because there's a lot of this and these I they they might be new uh, I was told they were but I, I don't know I thought I've seen those before uh, the cupcakes but these are three-dimensional again these are three-dimensional again and there is a lot of shimmer and glitter on these and and I got a few of these and I because I, I needed to find cupcakes uh, or sweets and treats. I'll, I'll explain that in a little bit. So uh, I got a few of these ones. Now these I I was told again that they had just put them out and these ones are lovely um, like black board, well they're black, cardstock, mason jars and signs and they just have the loveliest sayings on them. Uh, this one says, oh this I I so believe in that. We rise by lifting others. You know, uh, happiness depends upon ourselves. Uh, nothing, nothing injures but change. I, I so, this is stuff I say all the time. Uh, love is an act of cuddles? Yeah, love is an act of, of endless forgiveness, sorry. But yeah. Yeah, that is true. It won't be easy, but it'll be worth it. It's the other one. And finally, this one says, uh, oh, the grass is greener wherever you water it. <laughs> so I just think these are so appropriate. So I got a few of those. And there was another one with uh, some more jars. And these ones are shaped a little bit rounder. And they have, again, they have many uh, really nice sayings uh, and keep calm and craft on love that one and um, just a whole bunch of other really nice sayings and you know where I found these where they have the crafts and the other stickers and then I picked up this one I thought this was adorable it's got these little bugs on it with the big eyes and they have these fun sayings and I really like this one because it's a snail mail for you. So the sayings are separate from the bugs and uh, can't beat snail mail. I just thought this is so cute to put on a letter that you send someone. And the other one, oh, they had also these mason jars and these ones are like craft and they have a little band of this little burlap here. I thought these were really cute. They also had some other ones, and I didn't buy them all because I didn't need them all. Um, but there's some lovely new stickers out there. There was even some kits with paper flowers. Two are uh, beautiful three-dimensional paper flowers. They look really nice. And there's other like die-cut flowers in there. But I have so many flowers, so I, I didn't purchase those. I did uh, purchase... A couple more of these just because I really like these. I really like the look of these. They are great for my mixed media stuff, steampunk, um, any vintage style of crafting. So I got more of those. I bought a couple bags of the white sand and um, I bought this because I will be using this as a base for making some art supply and I don't want to get into it now because it's it's an experiment that I have to do in a couple of weeks. Now I mentioned the cupcakes at the beginning and I saw these stickers and I had to grab a few of those. Next week I have an event to attend 
and the theme is dessert dessert before we eat or something like that and uh, we're basically going to be served cake <laughs> uh, instead of cocktails and appetizers uh, we're gonna be served like cake <laughs> and it's it's all about cakes and sweets and decorating your own cakes and all that it um, I'm going to a conference and this is one of the the themes for the opening event and so of course you know we are encouraged to uh, come uh, dressed with either uh, you know some a shirt that has uh, sweets on it or candy you know whatever or something and uh, I pack I, I am packing very light for this trip because you know I'm, I'm flying out of Canada it's not cheap and you know coming back and and I hope to come back with a suitcase full of goodies so I, I pack really light so I thought I would just find something I would I thought I'm going to the dollar store I'm sure I'll find something with a cupcake theme on it and I did I found these stickers now I'm not exactly sure how I could transform this into something uh, that I could wear maybe I could stick them all over my face or my shirt or something uh, but the other thing I thought of doing was uh, finding some fun nails and I did. I found these. These are for children. Okay, the the fashion nails that you stick on with some glue, and they all have like a sweet on them. They have like a donut, and uh, like cupcakes, and I think it's candy or ice cream. So I just thought. So I got two of them. I do have small nails but I got two of these because I figured with two I could probably manage to uh, get enough on all my nails forgot to buy glue but I think I still have some so uh, I will be bringing this and just in case these don't fit completely I got a tiny bottle of pink nail polish that I thought would be a good complement to them so maybe I'll have one nail pink one nail with that I mean it's just for a few hours so it, the whole thing doesn't really have to last and I really wanted something small that uh, doesn't take a lot of room with my suitcase and if I have to leave it behind although I don't know why I would have to leave this behind so small then I can't the other thing I picked up uh, while I was there were these little Precious Dreams little girls rings because cupcakes. So I got two of them and I thought, well, maybe I can make myself some earrings or I'll, I'll wear them on my fingers. I don't know, something like that. And then of course, I found something else, which uh, are these num, num noms, num noms. And there's like a button here with cupcakes and stuff. So maybe I could have like a button and I could have the nails and I could have the little rings and, and oh, I did find something at uh, Dollarama for my hair. So, you know, a whole bunch of little things that won't take a lot of room in my suitcase. I don't have to bring extra clothes just for that. And, you know, that will, that will take care and I will participate in the, in the event. So, I already mentioned I'm uh, going to a conference next week. So, I picked up some travel size uh, items. I got the antiperspirant. This is a really great antiperspirant to use uh, when I am in conferences all day, running, going to meetings, and I just, yeah, it's just, it's a good, it's a good one. It works. <laughs> I got a little bottle of mouthwash. And this is Crest uh, Pro Health Advance. And the I got the 3D also, Crest 3D white toothpaste. These I can care, bring in my carry-on in case the rest of my luggage disappears. I will be bringing one suitcase. So I will have that. And to go along with my cupcake theme and pink nail polish, I picked up a pair of these pink uh, reading glasses and this pink little uh, eyeglass cord. I don't know, I might be overdoing it, but um, it'll go together. Maybe I could stick the cupcakes from the rings on my glasses too. I don't know. I'm working on it. All right. So also for my 
travel bag, I got this little package of Purell wipes. These are hand sanitizing wipes. And this one is the Cottonelle Fresh Care wipes. So I'll have two of those. Oh, and a tiny little lipstick, lipstick, lip seal, uh, lip balm. Perfect size for traveling. So I will have that as well. Now, oh, I did buy some more batteries because last time I bought batteries, I realized I needed four and there was a pack of three. So today, I got a pack of two. So now I have an extra. Doesn't matter, it's just a battery. But uh, yeah, so I needed a D battery. And then when I was walking down the kitchen section, I saw these pink measuring cups. And not that I need measuring cups for my kitchen, but I thought these would be great in my studio because it, they're pink and I do have to measure stuff sometimes, especially when, I, like, when I'm experimenting, experimenting, making art supplies. So I thought these would be cute instead of me going to the kitchen and rummaging around and then yeah, I'll use those. And uh, I also got this adjustable measuring spoon again to use in my studio. It doesn't happen a lot that I have to measure things, but sometimes I do. So I'll have that and it'll just stay there. Won't get it mixed up with the kitchen stuff. I did pick up a couple of these lint-free um, flower sack towels because they are lint-free and Sometimes I have a project and I need a I need to a cloth that doesn't have any, that is lint free. So this is why I bought this. But and I was in need in some new well not that I was really in need, but the my kitchen dishcloths are ugh, grungy, yucky. I mean, bless my husband's heart, he he loves to cook, but he's like he's always you it's uses all the the white based tea towels and dishcloths as rags and then he just dumps them in this anyway so I got some black ones because I figured these will because they will he he will stain them he won't rinse them out he will stain them with everything at least it won't show up on this so he can use these <laughs> I will use the white one. <laughs> um, I got this little package, this package of bread bag clips. I thought this would be practical uh, in my studio and in the kitchen. I'll keep, I'll keep the pink ones in my studio because uh, just the other day I had some bags of things. Of, uh, I had some supplies that weren't a little baggy, and I didn't have a container to put them in and I knew that I'd be using them up but I needed to close the bag anyway. So this is perfect for a situation like that just to close a bag uh, like temporarily. Now the other thing I scored were these baskets. Uh, I mentioned in another video that I've never seen baskets with these motifs at any Dollar Trees that I frequent, but I lucked out today. This Dollar Tree I was at had these. They had them in this pink and in the green, and that's all they had. They just have this style. Uh, besides, I mean, all the other regular baskets that they have, but in terms of the fancy style that I call them. Uh, so I got eight of those. And... That is that for this Dollar Tree haul. I do have other hauls to film, so I will be doing that in a little while. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. I will uh, go film, and you take care of yourself. Stay crafty, and I'll see you later.